Alright, for the Gears Lab, you'll be using a DC power supply to power your motor. So, to connect the motor to the DC power supply, you attach one end of each wire through the hole and tighten it. Attach one end to the red side and one end to the black. And so the current now goes through the motor and then back to the power supply. So we turn it on, set it for voltage, and uh, set set it to around 9 volts. That's to be exact, somewhere around there. Alright, and so now that we have this DC power, power supply connected to the motor, we want to measure the voltage and current of the circuit. So to do that, we'll be using a multimeter. So uh, you want to use a multimeter which has uh, three red plugs here at the bottom. There's a couple other examples. So it's these three spots for the red plug to go in. Here. Same with this one here. And you don't want to be using one with only one spot for the red plug because this multimeter can only measure voltage and we want to be able to measure both voltage and current. So we'll make sure it has three plugs. And so first, uh, to measure the voltage, we, to do this is pretty simple, you just need a parallel circuit. So you can just attach uh, the red and the black cords directly directly to the, to the DC power supply, like this. Uh, make sure that this red cord at the bottom is plugged into the V hole right here for the voltage you see on this one. And then for the dial, you want to set the dial to the V for voltage, and you want to set it to the V with the straight line over the top of it. Uh, you want to do the straight line because that is for DC or direct current. And if you're using alternating current or AC, like what comes out of an outlet, you would use this squiggly line here. It's the same for this one. Use this V right here with the line over it. And this one, the line is just right next to the V here. So as you can see from the reading here, uh, the voltage is 8.71, which is what we expected because we set this to about 9 volts. So if you want to adjust it a little bit, you can use the, the fine adjustment on there. All right, and now to um, measure the current going through the circuit, uh, to do so, you have to insert the multimeter into the existing current. So to do this, we're going to take this off here, attach the black cord to the wire here, and this red one will stay attached here. See, so now the, like, the, uh, the circuit goes through the multimeter and the motor back to the DC power supply, but before it just went straight from the DC power supply to the motor and back. So this is how we can measure current. Uh, with the multimeter, you want to take the red one and you want to plug it into here, the 300, the milliamps one. You can see on this one right here, the milliamps, microamps. And this one right here, the 300 milliamps. And then for the dial setting, you want to set it to the A with the bar over the top. There we go. And so then that will give you the current on this one. Uh, so right here, it's uh, microamps with the bar over the top, and then here, it's at the bottom here, the A with the bar next to it. And so that is how you use a multimeter to measure voltage and current of a circuit.